even after last week and how terrible they were, even after everyone telling me how bad they were. I have actually haven't gone in on these. So the degenerate I am, I should stay away, but I can't. UK part two, rolls, we got 30K. Might as well, let's get it over with. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score, no I'm balling. What's popping, y'all? We got a 30K up there, which is roughly about, what, 50 rolls? So uh, look, let's just hop into it. Like I said, yesterday I didn't get a chance. I wanted to stay up and stream, but I actually ended up falling asleep. Cause y'all know, obviously Australia time, how it works. Man, I've heard these are bad. Um, Joe's told me, MPO's told me, watch CC roll, watch Zerk Man. I've seen everyone roll. And I'm still here opening it because I know you guys like to watch me in pain. So this is what we're doing. Hopefully we do get something glitchy. I'll be honest with you, if these rolls turned out like I'm seeing other people's rolls turning out, this will be my last ones. Um, about the time you guys seeing this, we may be live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the real the truth it did come through. We probably won't be doing this, but what we will be doing, though, is probably finishing um, our comp pass on our Broncos Steam Team account because we need the homie Cortland Sutton. We're close, man. We've been grinding. Oh, I actually haven't really been on my No Money Spin account this week. Well, that's why you guys haven't seen many videos. I've been grinding, grinding on my Broncos Steam Team account, trying to do the comp pass over there. I played Weekend League over there. I think I finished 16 and 10. Um, I was just trying to get minimum of 15 wins, which I got. Um, I think I'm about 185 CP points. I need 15 more, which I'm essentially waiting for the next solo battles to come about. Once the next solo battles come about, we will have Corlin Sutton, and we'll have a Bronco Steam Team. We have a big update. I believe we got five upgrades coming, but that's not here nor there. This is what we're into today. Um, we've gotten a couple of 82s, um, a couple of 79s. So, yeah, man, these have been historically bad. Um, shout out to Grant on Twitter. Most of you guys would know Grant. He put up statistics on these things, and... They're not good. And speaking of these roles, let's talk about them being 79 plus. EA, I know you're not slick. I'm just I'm just calling you out as the conniving. As we get an 85, Christian Kirk, low life you are. You made it 76, 79 plus because you realize 76 plus, we were able to make coins from it from the team of the week. I told you guys a couple of videos ago about building team of the week sets and obviously exchanging up and things of that nature. I don't know if they seen my video, probably not, but that essentially screwed us. Um, EA is not slick. They're absolutely not slick. When I woke up yesterday and seeing it was 79 plus, first thing I hit everyone was and seeing everyone talk about it, I was like, EA is not slick. I know what they're doing. They essentially were trying to get rid of um, the ability to do team of the week cards cheaper because um, obviously that's a promo that they're going to do weekly they don't want to have basically a cycle sitting there where week in and week out you can kind of roll this arbitrage training roll this and then you know quick sale i mean um build sets and then sell them because as we know the 84s when team of the week came out was crazy like they were astronaut 40k i think um which is not a bad uh, investment opportunity just a little wink wink but um we're getting into this. Obviously, we've been into this for about 8K now. We've pulled, what, a couple of 85s, a couple of 82s. It hasn't been bad. No 87s, no 90s, no Andrew Norwell. So, um, obviously, you guys probably know by now, Christian McCaffrey, Von Miller, Broncos Dean Team representative, and Andrew Norwell are your 90 overalls, with Andrew Norwell being the LTD. I really thought they would have went a little bit more crazy on part two, but it was pretty mild compared to part one. Obviously, we got Fitz and Derek Johnson. Um, um, excuse me, Christian McCaffrey and Von Miller look fantastic, but as we've all seen probably now, as we're getting a host of 82s, that AKA promo that's supposed to be coming out on Monday. Now, depending on how quickly we get through this, we may pop that on the screen just to have a look at it. Um, I have done a little bit of guesstimations um, of what I think they may be. Um, so that's what it, I mean, that's going to be great to have that weekly content back, excuse me there. Um, cause obviously we've gotten, we've gotten rid of flashbacks, heavyweights, you know, and those things. So having a promo to give us weekly because that big gap right now between team of the week and what Thursday promos, which is weird. They're doing Thursday promos. I really think they should be Friday. It just feels weird when I have a, um, a gap in between a promo and legends, but I guess they're kind of spacing it out Thursday, Friday, no content, Saturday, then Sunday, no content, then Monday content, Tuesday content, and then no Wednesday content. So I guess we're getting content four out of the seven days guaranteed moving forward if they drop promos and stuff like that, which I fully expect them to. Um, and look, for all those who are just chilling with Madden, don't, you know, just max and relax. It's still a slow time with Madden. 2K just came out. 
a lot of people, including myself, um, have ventured over to 2K. Obviously, I'm still doing Madden without a shadow of a doubt, still putting my heart and soul into this. But, you know, November, December, January, February, we know that's the time. Um, you got to be consistent up to that point so people know your name, know your face. So um, as we get another 85, Mike Davis. So through what half, we've gotten, what, three, four 85s? I'm fully expected to lose half my training here. Like I said, the, the smart thing would have been to sell all of this, which I've been lazy selling as, as I go. But this, if I lose 15K, that's essentially, if I was getting training at 14 per, um, what's that, a couple hundred K? that I'm losing but you know sometimes you got to risk it to get the biscuit I'm basically anything I get out of this I'm gonna sell um, absolutely positively no shout doubt in my mind we're gonna sell it be done with it and move on because um, there's no 87s I want it all um, like I said with me running a partial legend team which kind of builds into the aka promo coming on Monday um, hopefully with some of the leaks and what people are projecting those are some legends that will essentially help out but though they have crashed the market in terms of the predictions of what those may de be but then also christian mccaffrey and von miller i've seen jerome bettis for 180k i almost pulled the trigger but um like i said we're going to get into some of those leaks of the aka program just so we can kind of see what we think they are um as we're getting a host of 82s which is great 82s a break even um like i said because i got my training around 13 per um i was getting my 85s under 18k and 84s under 13k um, so it's great. I can basically just arbitrage it, sell those 82s and not take that much of a hit, right? And that's essentially what I'm going to do. Um, that's the only bad thing about doing these training rerolls. Luckily, I'm only doing 50 and not like 100. So I won't have to go through my binder and essentially clean up everything. So we got about 20 rows left. Like I said, no 90s, no 87s. We haven't got anything as of yet. But look, we all know that can change at the drop of the hat or at a click of a button in terms of this, what we're doing. I want to ask, but I kind of know how the rules have been for you guys because you guys have told me truth, stay away. Um, and we obviously, have, I'm in a multiple of group chats and no one's had positive things to say about these roles. Um, but yeah, I mean, here I am providing content and doing this for you guys. So hopefully you guys do appreciate this. I truly hope you do live vicariously through me. I want to be you guys as, you know, test dummy, lab rat, whatever it may be. If you're thinking, hey, should I do these roles? Look at this and say, then you can make your, you know, I guess conclusion on if you want to do them or not after this so that's what i aim to do that's what i try to do with youtube obviously we have the broncos team team which is entertainment bro we've pulled a bunch of 82s my goodness we pulled a bunch of 82s i may have enough to do maybe an all madden set which would be fantastic uh, we can probably still do back-to-back -back 82s we could probably still do like a warren sap bruce smith or something like that someone who is expensive um and sell them you know for a quick flip you know, so that would be an excellent flip if we could do that. Because what, 30,000 training is about 420K at 14 per. Obviously, 30, yeah, 420K at 14 per or something like that. My, my, hopefully, my math is right there. Um, but so, but if we can flip it for, I don't think we got that many 82s in terms of 32. We only did 50 rows and 32 of the rows is not it. You know, but obviously, I would go out and buy a couple of 82s or build them or whatnot. Another 85 Yannick and Gakwe. Um, so what does that make it five eighty five? We may not do do bad depending on what we do in this last what we got eleven more rows left. Depending on what we do here in these last eleven rows is really going to see if it make or break us. If we can get a ninety, uh, maybe even a couple eighty sevens. I've seen people you know do back to back eighty seven. So that's not out of out of a realm of possibilities. Obviously we haven't gotten one eighty seven, which is crazy. Um, even though, look, no matter what I put in these last 5K, I think you guys should stay away from these rolls. I am going to stay away from these rolls. We will not be opening these on stream because it's just basically losing coins. I'm just feeding coins back to EA at this point. And obviously, we want to keep our coins. We don't want to give them to EA. So that is, I was about to say, that is like 379s in a row. But um, Dante Freeman, he is the most common 82 I've pulled. Let me know down below what's the most common 82 you pull. And then um, once we get into these AKA, you know, reveals and or, you know, guess and stuff like that, let me know down below what you think it's going to be, too. Um, yeah, like I said, everyone's had their guesstimations or whatever it may be. And I want to have my shot at it. Definitely want to have my shot at back to back 85 Hakeem Hicks. OK, that may save the day. Um, I want to save the day, save the day. They put us up to like 20K training instead of 15K training in terms of what we got back. So three elites in a row um that is huge that's absolutely huge i know for a fact i can sell those 85s for like 27k um so that's a w that's an absolute w depending on what we get in the, what do we have two more 
three more. Uh, maybe if I quick sell, if we get 279s, I'll quick sell, and I think we'll still have enough for, yep, we'll have enough for, one. if I get a 79 here, I'll quick sell it. If not, we'll just take it as it is. Let's see what we get. 79 to kill Harry, excellent. Let's just see if we can walk it off. I'm gonna close my eyes. I didn't look, I backed out. I'm at the screen. All right, let's go to the binder and see what I actually pulled. And I should have known I was gonna do a walk off 79. <laughs> But here we go, let's check and see basically what we had. We didn't do bad in terms of elites. Obviously, look, we didn't pull an 87, didn't pull a 90, um, but we got back. Remember when I said I was gonna make about 15K? Well, we made about 19K roughly, so still a big loss of 10K or 12K, which, like I said, is roughly about, what, 150, 160K that we lost. Hopefully, we'll be able to sell that stuff and recoup it back up. All right, so this is the hint we got for the AK promo, which is basically nicknames. I'm going to move my face so we can have a full screen look at it all. Let's go from left to right. Now, what I've seen in upper left, I've seen people say Browns, OBJ. I see the purple belief beneath it as well. I've seen some people say Adrian Peterson and the Vikings jersey. I think the middle one is a Raider. I've seen Stork mention, um, which is Stork is Ted Hendricks. Adrian Peterson would be all day. This right-hand one, um, upper right-hand corner, I've seen Chiefs, Dante Hall, the human highlight reel, which makes a lot of sense. Bottom right, I think this is the clearest one of day. I think if you follow Joe Bruin on Twitter, um, my boy, he did a great outline. That's Night Train Lane, the bottom right one. Bottom middle, Seahawks. I kind of see a 2-4 in the middle. I don't know if you guys see it. So like right here, I see a uh, 2 and then a 4 here, um, potentially. So if these are legends too, that's only gonna add to the legends, Kim. So that could be Marshawn Lynch, but I don't know what that I don't know if that's Adrian Peterson and Marshawn Lynch. If they drop two running backs, but knowing EA they might. And I think again, this is there's only one team with green and yellow in the NFL. Um, that's Reggie White. I truly believe. Like I'm so confident in Reggie White and Night Train Lane. Like I'm just ultra confident in those two. Um, those are like a hundred percent. This is I'm a hundred percent sure it's a Raider. Not sure it could be Howie Long, could be you know someone of that nature. These other four I'm not really sure of, but these two, Nitro Lane and um, Reggie White, I'm a thousand percent sure of. Let me know down below what you think um, and what we're gonna be getting. All right, that's it for me. Um, if you want to see the team, we did end up reaching nine, nine, uh, 51 overall. Uh, 51 overall, 50, level 51 to get Dave Casper. But besides that, nothing's changed on the team. Literally, nothing changed. We did get Joe Montana um, out of our, you know, uh, packs finally from the competitive awards. So we're using that. But other than that, the team is exactly the same. I did want to make some upgrades, but as soon as I seen this AKA promo was going to be released on Monday, I held off. This team's good enough for me to win weekend league um, and play this weekend. I don't necessarily upgrade unless they a good price. Because um, I was looking to get Beast, I mean, Jerome Bettis, but if we're getting Beast more to Adrian Peterson, I kind of would prefer one of them, um, even though Jerome Bettis is like 180K at this moment. Um, I was thinking about Rodgers. Um, so there's a lot of things I'm thinking about, but we're just going to play the wait and see game, and I advise you to do the same. Check out the Legends tomorrow. Um, it'll be tomorrow when you guys see, or today when you guys see this. is tomorrow when I'm recording this. And then we'll go from there. But I appreciate you boys as always. I'm signing out. Maha salute. Deuces.